Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dually1999 here from Dewing Productions, and I'm going to show you guys a video on how to use um, vertical and horizontal missiles in Naval Clash as of the, I think, sometime in late um, May. Anywho, I have two identical ships here. One of them will be using the missiles for, the other will be sinking. Um, and we're going to be using Mark III missiles for this. Um, demonstration because they're the most complex of the missile types um, and a lot of the things or the qualities that these missiles have work with other missile variants like the Mark 1s and the Mark 2s. So there's th there's three important things you need sign wise with your missiles. You need labeled torpedo tubes and you like like so and you also need a fire control for every torpedo tube that you have on your ship. Um, without those, you will not have uh, guided missiles, and uh, they're very. These missiles are very difficult to use without using a guidance feature. So, without further ado, I'll get you started on how to use these. Um, this right here is actually a very similar configuration. The horizontals. One of the biggest. Okay, let me restart here. Um, one of the biggest things that separates the horizontals to the verticals is the placement of the gold ore and the uh, dispenser versus the dropper. Horizontal missiles use a dispenser. Okay. Vertical missiles use a dropper. That's one of the biggest mistakes people make when building. I know I made that mistake countless times. But also notice how on horizontal missiles there's one gold ore block between the two tubes they're very similar to a torpedo tube setup in the sense that all you do is change that block and you have a uh, a missile system rather than a torpedo tube um, for vertical missiles it's slightly different this right here is actually one missile you don't need two you only need one so um, there's a gold block there as you can see or gold ore with a dropper the button can be on the dropper it just has to be in this block area right here um, you can actually remote fire these and I'll show you guys that over here um, you can completely remote function any missile um, with a similar setup like this so first things first you have to have an advanced radar so we're going to flick that on. Notice how we have target A at 270. So that means it's to the ship's left. And notice how it's between 270 and 180. So that means it's to our left behind. That would make sense because there's a boat right there. So with that in mind, we're going to uh, select the advanced radar to the target. You don't have to, but this is going to tell you your percent chance of hitting, 100%. It's right there, so that figures. Speed, we um, it's zero, and range will update with time. It's about a hundred blocks diagonally. Um, missiles have, or the advanced radar has a range of a thousand blocks, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but that's what I believe it is. Missiles, however, have a range of only five hundred, so you can see targets a lot farther than you can actually hit them but 500 blocks is still very far. Um, one thing to know also when you're making vertical missiles, make sure they're pointing to the sides, okay? Because if they're pointing horizontally or vertical through your ship, you could risk your missile coming down and hitting your ship after you fire it. So, let's move on to the demonstration. Notice how it updated here, class ship. Slowly with time, this will begin to identify this A target better and better. But moving on, we have our fire controls. You have to have fire controls in order to hit something that you see on radar. So with that, with that in mind, we are going to set all of these to target A, because target A corresponds to target A on our advanced radar. So, target A, target A, target A, and target A. Now, if you want to, you can directly fire these from here using these buttons. Make sure also you activate 
your missiles um, beforehand otherwise the tubes will not be found when you try to fire them so just make sure that you know your white wool turns into a color and uh, that's how you know they're active um, so moving on we're going to shoot at that target and since this vertical missile setup is on the left side you want to shoot that only at left targets do not shoot left facing missiles at right side targets you could risk the missile coming back around and hitting your boat um, that's why it's you should never have them vertically like I said earlier you could hit yourself so since we're shooting at a ship that's on our boats left hemisphere meaning this side we're gonna use our left missiles so to open the tube instead of flicking the lever it's actually punching the lever so you're gonna punch the lever like that once you've punched the lever go ahead and double check that your fire controls for those tubes are set to your target so tubes three and four are fire controls three is set to a four is set to a target a is the target on our radar at 106 blocks out over there. So I could press this button to fire tube 3 but I don't want to. I want to show the remote firing feature. All you need to do to have remote firing is put the button below the fire control sign and put a lever above. So let's notice how tube 3 is there. You can also um, the levers don't work I guess. I thought they did. I guess they don't ignore those but you can still fire tube 3 remotely like so the missile will then track the target go across and it will cut down to the center of the ship and blow it up simple as that horizontal missiles work the exact same way um, vertical you know as horizontal missiles so should I have wanted to use tube 1 on this horizontal I could have just go over to my fire control A1 A sign and notice how there's no doors you don't need doors on horizontals um, so as a result you can just oops there is no target A now so I can't hit target A so we're gonna set them to straight meaning it's just going to fire the missile straight but since I didn't set the depth it went straight and then down so in order to set the depth of a missile this works for both verticals and horizontals when you're not shooting at a radar target you go over to the dispenser and you want to set the Y axis to anything above 60 so around 65 65 will put the torpedo or the missile right above the water level so we're gonna go over to tube 2 we're going to set that to straight. The, the missile itself is set to depth 65. And for tube 2, we're going to remote fire it. Fired. Depth 65 is 2, two 3 blocks, two, 2 blocks, I believe, above water level. So this missile is going to go, and it's going to go, and go, and go for 500 blocks. Missiles have the longest range of any weapon um, on the server, to my knowledge. So if you want hitting things from far range, missiles are the way to go. This would be a near impossible shot with a cannon. It's going to go and go and go. Sometimes these feel endless. Here we go. Extremely far range. We're going to go to our map here. Look at the range. Let me, uh, I think I can... I believe, yep, there are chunk grid. I believe it's 30 chunks. As you can see, it's extremely far way farther than any um you know cannon one thing to note though about range is 500 blocks um directly behind directly left 
directly right and straight, you know. Straight line shooting, you'll get farther range. And that's because when a missile is having to go diagonal, it's using two ticks to go what's really just one block away. Since missiles don't go directly diagonal, they kind of like go left, right, left, right, left, right. They kind of do a pattern like like this. Oops, like that, rather than um, something like, um, how do I show that? Something like this. They don't go from there to there. They just, they kind of zigzag. This, this zigzagging pattern takes range out, because think about it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's actually really only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blocks away, but the missile has to use 10 blocks. So the range is shorter when shooting at diagonal targets than it is shooting at targets that are perpendicular. Um, so hopefully this video helped you guys figure out how to work torpedoes. They're a little complex and they're quite expensive, but they're a lot of fun and they're extremely powerful. So again, thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Tell me if you guys like the video and what you don't like about the video. Um, and I will try to get more content out to you guys soon. Um, now that a lot of the plugins are working again, um, I'll be able to get videos working or videos out a lot faster than before. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video.